In this video tutorials, we are going to learn about master pages. First, let us know what is master page. Master page basically allows us to share the common content as well as layout to multiple pages. The best example is to show same header and the footer and the same layout across pages of the websites. We must have seen many websites where their header and their footer and all the layouts looks same but the content only changes. So that kind of uh, flexibility a master page can provide where you can use that master page as a template and you can inherit all your content pages through that master page and write content on the content pages so that the template defined in the master page will appear in, in the final output and content will be different. Now in the how to let us learn how to work with master page in ASP.NET. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to create a master page. So let me go to the uh, my project and here let me right click and click on add new item. Click on the master page here from the template. Write the name of the master page I'm leaving it as it is and then place code in the separate file. Master page also have the code behind or server side file so I'm just keeping as it is place code in the separate file and I'm clicking on add button once I have clicked add button you will notice that I have a master page uh, created in my uh, project you can see master page dot master so in this master page you can see that I have a by default content placeholder created as the name suggests content placeholder is basically a placeholder to to keep your content of the ASPX page so so let me copy paste some code from here so i'm just copying from the div because rest other things will be almost similar so here is my content now let me format it and let me tell you what is this so in the master page what we have done is that we have written table and then we have trtd and i'm keeping menu one menu two menu three menu four i'm just uh, assuming that this is the menu menu of my page and then here i'm uh, i have a left panel and then i have a content plus holder and the right uh, side and in the footer i'm just writing uh, all that reserved messages now what i will do is that i will create one uh, aspx space so let me create one aspx space let me def delete this default dot aspx space and right click and create a new aspx space and here I will have to select select master page so when I will click on select master page it will allow me to select the master page for this particular content page so I am selecting the master page that I have created just now now when I will do that you will notice that my default.aspx page will, will have only two things one is the first content placeholder that I had on my, AS, uh, my master page you can see that this head content placeholder and second is the the, the content placeholder that I had kept for the content so you can see that both of the content placeholder is there you can, you can, you can notice the name of the, this content placeholder also content placeholder id equal to content placeholder 1 and this id will be similar to, the, to this id now what will happen is that if we will write if we have to write some content on this default.aspx page then what we will do is that we will write the content here itself for example we are let us write some paragraph and paragraph and then again I'm writing this is is the content from the dot ASPX page now what will happen is that when I will run this page default dot ASPX page what it does is that it basically keep these much of things this much of content from the content page to the master page in place of the content placeholder and the whole layout of the master page will appear along with the content of the default page page so let me show you this view in browser and you can see that this menu 1 menu 2 menu 3 menu 4 is coming this one as it is the left panel is coming you can see this left panel 
and then this is the content from the ASPX page in place of this content placeholder whatever content we had kept into the ASPX page that is coming and the footer is coming this footer is coming now on the master page you can keep more than one content placeholder also okay it totally depends on you how you want to design your master page so in case you have the requirement of keeping more than one content placeholder then you can keep anyway more than one content placeholder as I have kept one for here head and another for the content you can keep one more maybe you can keep for the footer if you want to dynamically change it now the benefit it provides is, provides is that if I am going to create another page here for example I am going to create another page default to dot spx now here also if I am going to write any content here for example I have written something here and when I will uh, uh, run this page default to dot spx page you will see that the whole layout is similar because this default to dot spx is also inheriting from the same master page so in this case what we are doing we are maintaining the uniformity of the look and feel and the layout of my entire page of the websites if we, if we have thousands of pages in the website we do not need to worry about creating the layout menu uh, top bottom or uh, the, the color combinations for all thousand pages we just need to worry about how to design the uh, layout in the master page and what should be the color combination into the master page and you can just inherit all your thousand pages from that master page and all everything will be taken care and if you have to change the layout of your uh, uh, webs, uh, website pages then you can simply change the master page layout and the entire uh, pages of your website will get affected because all are will be inherited through this master page so this kind of benefit master page gives okay it helps us to maintain the uniformity uh, of the website in terms of the layout in, in terms of the color combination in terms of the styles now let us uh, notice the uh, page directives of this ASPX page. You will notice here that we have one extra attribute called master page file attribute for this page directives and that basically helps us to to set the master page file to be used by this ASPX page while rendering. There is no difference in terms of use of this uh, ASPX page. The way you use your normal ASPX page in the same way you can use this ASPX page that will basically inherit from the master page. So in terms of uh, use there is no difference you can use it in, in the normal way.